Good morning, hot dogs. And welcome back to the morning announcements. Youth Rise, T-shirt design contest, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Youth Rise is a youth leadership council comprised of all four county schools. Each year, the teens run youth-led initiatives throughout community and their schools, such as mental health, teen dating violence, child abuse prevention, substance use, and more. You are invited to Fresitas tomorrow between 4 to 8 p.m. to enjoy delicious snacks and desserts in a great family environment, while at the same time supporting the Crash Club. Crash members will be playing bingo with the children and doing face painting. If you have never been to Fresitas, please find more information in the chatter to have a glance at their yummy menu. Now to weather and sports. Good morning, dogs. The boys for City baseball team are back in action for the first 2022 season game. Don't forget the game starts tomorrow, April 1st at 6 p.m. here at home. All members from this year's boys soccer team need to stop by and talk to Coach Butler in room 105. The girls varsity softball team has rescheduled their game for tomorrow at 5.30 away at Lafayette Central Catholic. We have a couple of words from our on-location crew about the softball team. Here's what they have to say. With the official 2022 softball season kicking off this Friday, we were able to catch up with Kareem Quinones and Autumn Bauer to get the thoughts on the season. Let's send it to them. Uh, this team has a lot of potential, even the younger girls. Um, I'm expecting a lot of great things this year. We have a whole bunch of incoming freshmen who are just super good and talented, so I'm excited. I feel like we have a lot of potential this year. I think we're going to have a winning record like last year, and I hope we just work together because everyone is good at their spot. Like, we all play our spots well. Some of my goals, um, honestly, are to have, like, the biggest season we've had yet. We have a whole bunch of talent on and off the field, so I'm excited for that. Um, I'm looking forward for everything, like, getting closer to the underclassmen, uh, making this my last rodeo, making it good, going out the bang. I expect this season to go a lot better than last year's, especially because I know what it's like playing with the team, so it's going to be a lot more fun. And I hope we make a lot of memories and win a lot of games. Our first home game is Wednesday, April 13th. Make sure to come out and support us for our last radio against the Lebanon Tigers. <laughs> Thanks, Edwin and Nelson. Now to weather with Alan. Thanks, Avery. The half today is 41 with a low being 30, with cloudy skies and winds being around 25 to almost 40 miles per hour. Do you know what that means? Pull out your parachutes because it's time to go flying. That's it for the weather. Have a great day. Attention all FHS students. This year's Hispanic Heritage Festival will hold a t-shirt design contest. The theme of our contest is tribute to our ancestors. The deadline is Friday, May 13th, and the winners will be announced Tuesday, May 24th, with a $200 cash prize to the winner. For lunch, lines one and two, chicken nuggets, and lines three and four will be top and go Doritos. Also, a happy birthday goes out to Tristan Ewing. Here's the second Cinderella slipper. If the shoe fits, you can find it at the lost and found desk by the front office. That's all for the announcements, hot dogs. Make sure to like and subscribe for more.